Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite horses as of the beginning of 2022. I want to start doing a video like this every year. Last year, I did like a montage of all of my horses 2020 and it was just seriously so much work. I don't know if I'm going to do a video like that this year, but so I'll show you each of the horses I've picked for this year and I'll tell you a little bit why and a little bit about them. Should be pretty fun. Let's get started. So first, we're going to start over here with the English thoroughbreds. I feel like I haven't ridden the English thoroughbreds in so long, but here are a couple of my favorites. They are so well made. So this is Ginger. I named this horse after Ginger from Black Beauty. I just felt like it was just the right coat color. I love the coat color. I got this horse on the horse's app and very cute markings. The ETBs look the best with braids, I think. These were like the first horse I got that I was like, oh, the braids are amazing, but I just really love this horse and it's just great. Okay, this horse is Grand potential. I think I named this horse Grace. Yeah, this is Grace. So I don't know why I named this horse like seriously like an actual thoroughbred name, like something ridiculous. This horse has so many, I don't know, so many good memories about it and it's just a horse that you could literally ride anytime, any place. Like it's the perfect white horse and it's just very cute. Like it looks like a little bunny rabbit. I used this horse. It was like the cross country horse for witch ladies when I was in that club and I just have so many good memories with this horse. I really need to ride it more. The only thing is I've been trying to max all my horses like I'm ever going to be able to do that, but I just don't ride my maxed horses very much and this horse is also maxed. So anyways, let's go this way. So this is Peter Parker. I bought this horse with my friend Cece, I think, and it's just a really, really, really pretty Marwari. I actually really like just the dappling effects um, and I love the main color is a little bit of an off-white. I just think for some reason it looks really nice together. I love the Marwaris, but like I never ride them. But I think I maxed this horse. No, almost. It's level 10. So yeah, I really like this horse and I need to ride it more. But here's Peter Parker. Okay, and on to a thin horse. So this is Maisie. I absolutely, oh my gosh, hello. This is a horse I almost didn't buy. <laughs> the animations are very cute, except the horse just went inside my face, but it's fine. Yeah, this is a horse coat color that I almost didn't buy, but I'm really glad I did because it's continued to be like my favorite fan horse coat color. I only just wish that they would update the mane or something because it's just very square and I like the mane down because I really like the contrast of the coat color with the mane color and the braids just didn't do it justice. But I really adore this horse, like the markings on the face and the dappling, it's just really well done. Okay, this is Pumpkin. This is my curly horse. This is my favorite curly horse. I actually really, really love this horse. I rode it a lot during the fall time. I know that the curly horse horses are not popular and I know a lot of people hate them. I just happen to really like this one in particular. Like this coat color made me fall in love with curly horses and I maxed this horse. So here's Pumpkin. I don't know. They're just so cute. Okay, this is my American paint horse, Milky. Milky is seriously like one of my favorite horses. I mean, I think you'll find a little bit of a theme in this video that I'm obsessed with black and white horses and in my whole channel. You probably know that if you watch my videos. I just really like the face markings on this horse and I just I mean I really like the American paint horses in general but this is one of my favorites that I have the eyes I think it's a very cute coat and just how the tail is kind of ombre looks really cool so yeah okay going around I literally have a horse named after almost every single kind of flower and this horse's name is Violet I really love this horse so I'm obsessed with the Orvic Wilds and this is by far my favorite coat color of the Orvic Wilds I love that its eyes are green I love everything about this horse the marking the coat color. I just really, really love this horse. I like that there's little spots on it. And like, I don't know, is this technically favorite horses of 2021? I don't know because it is 2022 right now and these are my favorite horses. So maybe I'll say my favorite horses of 2021. Yeah, <laughs> these are my favorite horses of 2021. Okay, this is Misty, my gauntlet pony. This horse I named literally off of like say chat. Someone said, I'm going to name my horse Mist T. Misty. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna steal it. So that's how I named this horse. I just think this horse is adorable. Like, the Gotland Pony is one of my 
it is my all-time favorite pony on the game. Like, I love the, the Yorvik ponies, but this one just wins. Sorry. Misty is the cutest pony ever, and I love Misty, another black and white horse. Okay, here's Winter. This is my Icelandic horse. I got this horse off the app. It's the face markings for me. This horse is just absolutely adorable. I just absolutely love it. I love that it's fluffy. This is my favorite of the Icelandic horses. It's just the cutest, cutest horse. It just, I don't even know what else to say. And then I have Coco. So I love the Icelandic horses so much that I was like, I need to have two in my video. Like they have to be represented. So I really like this horse too. A, because it's black and white and that's my favorite kind of horse. And B, I just love the markings. Like they just made it look so fluffy and yeah, just like the white one, but I like the markings. And like the little dappling on the nose is just adorable to me. So Coco made the cut. Also, how could I not include the horse that's named Coco, right? Okay, this one I really struggled because I wanted an Andalusian as one of my top horses because they continue to be one of my favorite breeds in the game. Like they, they're they the OG, my favorite horse. And I struggled. I was like, should I include Butterfly, my white Andalusian, or should I include Flora, my bay Andalusian? And I decided to include Flora because this is like, I think this horse was on the app. I can't even remember. Yeah, this horse is stunning. Like it's funny that the Andalusians came out a while ago and they're still so relevant. But yeah, this is like one of my favorite horses in the game. And I kind of miss like this is good hair. This is the hair this horse comes with, right? I wish our stable would go back to like more natural looking hair like this. Anyways, this is Snow. This is my Irish Cobb horse. I bought this horse on the app recently. Never for a second have I regretted buying this horse. Like I rode it so much <laughs> during the winter update that like my friends and people in my club were like, Rose, you have ridden that horse so much. It makes me want that horse now. <laughs> so I love this horse. It has a little eyeshadow, which is kind of cool. It's just a very stunning like coat color and I'm if you know me I like white horses and I like black and white horses okay so recently I've been getting more into bay horses too another white horse so the Arabians are by far one of the best breeds in the game like there's no question and this is the first horse that made me want an Arabian I remember when Star Stable released like the spoilers of the Arabian horses this is the one that made me want to get one and it's just a stunning white horse or gray, whatever you want to say. This is just a beautiful horse and I love Daisy. Okay, this is Joey. So I bought this horse very recently in my buying horses video and I never regretted it for a second. This horse is just amazing, especially with braids. I love the coat color. It's like this beautiful chestnut color and I just think the markings are just effortlessly beautiful. Like it's just, I like this kind of face, bald face marking. I have it on my quarter horse as well and I just really love it. Okay, this is Indy. I love Indy. Indy is like fuzz and fluffy. I bought this Arabian in the open house event and one of my favorite horses. I just maxed this horse recently and I'm totally obsessed. Like I just, everything about this horse, the coat color is really unique. I just really, really love it. It's kind of like a black and white horse, but with a twist, okay. Oh look, another black and white horse. Okay, this is Boba. Obviously, the American paint horses are one of the best breeds in the game next to the Arabians. Like, I can't even compare. I love them both so much. Cute animations, beautiful, stunning paint horse, and I just don't even know what else to say. I like Boba. I like this horse enough said. So of all the horses I've shown you guys, this is probably my favorite horse in the game. I recently on my Instagram, not even recently, like a while ago on my Instagram, I did an edit with this horse and it honestly looks like a real horse. People were saying that looks so real and I was like, I only edited the mane. It just looks real. Like it's so realistic. It's stunning. The way that they did the coat on this horse, I love the white and then the dapple, the contrast. I don't know. It's so cool. I love the, like, the little braids you can do on these horses. Hands down, Lacey, one of my favorite horses. Probably my favorite horse. And then last but not least, this horse, Rain. I don't know. I just have a thing for like the blonder off-white mane and the white contrast. I just thought it looks cool. This is the only paint horse I thought looked cool with the braids, like the long braids. And I just, this horse reminds me of Rain from Spirit. Yeah, this horse is just gorgeous. It also has the bald face. Okay, I'm noticing some themes here. <laughs> bald face, white horses, black and white horses. All right, we learned some things here today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing my top horses of 2021 and you got maybe some ideas for horses you want to be buying this year. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm on the nice. you never guess. I've been hiding a monster. Keeping it quiet.